Hello, my name is Connor Mears. I will be presenting on Theodosius Dobzhansky. He is a renowned geneticist and winner of the President's National Medal of Science for Biological Sciences. Theodosius was born January 25th, 1900 in Nemirov, Ukraine, during the time of the Russian Empire, to Grigory Dobzhansky and Sofia Voynarsky. Growing up, Theodosius was interested in biology. He would spend a lot of his time being outside, catching insects, and studying the natural habitats surrounding him and his home. In 1917, Theodosius began attending the University of Kiev in Ukraine to study biology. It is here that he met his future wife, Natalia Sirvetsa. Theodosius attended the University of Kiev for four years, graduating in 1921. Then, for three years, he continued his work at the university as a zoology instructor. In 1924, Theodosius married Natalia, who was also a geneticist, increasing Theodosius' interest in the evolutionary side of biology. He also had a child named Sophie with Natalia. Furthermore, in 1924, Theodosius and Natalia moved to the University of St. Petersburg, where Theodosius would work as an assistant to Yuri Filipchenko, the head of the genetics department. In 1927, Theodosius moved to New York. Here, he would work at Columbia University under Thomas Hunt Morgan. Morgan and him would grow to have a lifelong friendship. Morgan decided to move in 1930 and brought Theodosius along with him. Together, they moved to Pasadena, California to study and later work at the California Institute of Technology. At the California Institute of Technology, Theodosius began working on one of his most famous works, Population Cages, and relating his work to the theory of evolution. In 1937, Theodosius became a professor at the California Institute of Technology, as well as he finally became an official citizen of the United States of America. In addition, in 1937, Theodosius published one of his most important works, Genetics and the Origin of Species, in which his extensive work with fruit flies allowed him to make observations and link evolution and natural selection. In 1940, Theodosius returned to the Columbia University to teach zoology until 1962, and in 1964, he was awarded the President's National Medal of Science, Medal of Science for Biological Sciences. In 1968, Theodosius was diagnosed with leukemia, and just a year later, in 1969, his wife Natalia passed away from coronary thrombosis. In 1970, he published his last work, Genetics and the Evolutionary Process, spanning 33 years of his life. In 1971, retired from actively teaching, and in 1975, passed away from leukemia. Genetics and the origin of species has had a very large impact on the field of population genetics and has helped shape the genetic process of, process of evolution for many scientists. Theodosius looked at genes and chromosomes, and he also determined that chromosomal translocation and chromosomal inversion were very important for uh, differences in things such as Jimson weed and Drosophila. He also tested selection using an example of moths, one from a forested area, one from an a industrial area, and looked at the selection rate for color pigment of, their, um, of the moths. He also used ploidy in different ways to explain that speciation is a slow event. He talks about cases in which hybrids are created by fusing sets of chromosomes due to the ploidy level. And finally, one of his most important points is the idea of sterility. Scientists had for a long time studied isolation and sterility of hybrids, and so Theodosius devotes a lot of time to analyzing literature about this.
Thank you very much. That was my presentation on Theodosius Dobzhansky.